Lock a Dam 17 in New Boston, Illinois is one of 12 locks on the Upper Mississippi River that is operated and maintained by the Rock Island District of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Like all locks on the Upper Mississippi, the infrastructure is aging and requires regular maintenance in order to ensure its operational integrity. Periodically, these locks require dewatering to facilitate inspections and maintenance that couldn't otherwise be done while water is in the chamber. This work is critical to the Rock Island District's mission of keeping the navigation system open for business, fueling a national and global economic engine. So today we're here at Lock 17, uh, Mississippi River Project's role in managing these lock and dams. We have 12 lock and dams in the, in the Rock Island District. Uh, start up at Lock 11, down to Lock 22 in Hannibal. We're here at Lock 17. Um, the maintenance crew that you see here today is part of an in-house workforce that we have that does annual maintenance all up and down the Mississippi River within that region. Uh, this work here is specially funded by our division headquarters. Uh, there's a process that we go through where we nationally rank uh, projects and look at priorities of things that need to get done, done along the river. And the critical activities here, the concrete repairs uh, that are being performed, as well as uh, sill beam insulation uh, that was already done for this job. Right now, upriver from here at Locks and Dam 15 and 16, bulkhead slots are being installed to prepare for future work like that is being done here at Lock and Dam 17. The bulkhead slot installations are the first step in preparing for that future work so that they can install bulkheads like these. What you guys are seeing right here is we're rehabbing the monolith joints. So essentially we've contracted out a company to come in and water blast the bad concrete that we've established and laid out for them at the joints. Um, and we've come in, saw cut, and re-epoxied anchors and we're pouring concrete with the forms. As, as we started at the lower end, we worked our way up and then basically just do a big circle around the whole lock chain. Uh, basically, the old concrete is just bad and really uh, deteriorating, so we come in, pour new concrete, and hopefully uh, get some longer life out of the lot. Well, we only get to, to do a dewatering maybe every every 20 years or so, and it exposes a lot of, of the problems that we don't ordinarily get to look at when there's water in the chamber. So some of this aging concrete that we're repairing, uh, it exposes a lot of that. We're able to repair it. And then there's also some work on the lower end, installing sill beam and, uh, and doing some of that stuff that you wouldn't be able to do if the water was in the chamber. So it's, it's important to dewater them because we get to do a lot of the work and the maintenance. It gives our engineers a chance to come in and see what some of these problems are so we can schedule more maintenance in the future. The work that is being done in Lock and Dam 17 represents a small snapshot kind of efforts the Rock Island District carries out in order to maintain the aging navigation infrastructure system. All the locks and dams on the Upper Mississippi River were constructed in the 1930s and 1940s. They were built with an intended design life of about 50 years. Major rehabilitations coupled with adaptive regular maintenance has extended the intended design life of this critical national infrastructure. The maintenance and inspections of Lock and Dam 17 should be complete by early March, at which time the lock will reopen to traffic, enabling enormous amounts of goods and commodities to be transported.